So I picked up this burlap at Walmart. I think it was like six bucks and it's 18 inches wide by 15 feet long. And I use this as like a cane webbing alternative because it's so much cheaper, but you still kind of get the same effect. I use this on my cabinet doors out on my floating tiny house. And um, I figured I would put it down here in front of the couch. And I think it's the perfect height for exactly what I have here. And it is, it's like it belongs. So I'm gonna put this on the front here and then I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the side too. Mine as well, because it's open and the light will come through and the purpose of me not putting anything on the end was to have the light shine through, but I can access it through the top here. So, so let's do that. So all I'm going to do is just staple gun it right on there. Easy peasy. Burlap squeezy. <laughs> To my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare starring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crashing in my car. Wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar. Just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir. Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know. Stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, now I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy I'm about to pop off Fuck you, you're lost We all know that we never really want a boss So I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo Yeah, I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, now I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on stage So I'm taking six shots, all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? Okay, so now I have the gap in the middle here and I don't know what to put there besides I could go find some sort of wooden medallion to stick there and stain it or I have these leftover stained scraps that I could stick there and there. It wouldn't look awful or I could Maybe cut these. I don't have the right tools. Hmm. Okay, so I have these scrap pieces of reed from the ceiling in the bedroom. So I thought maybe I could cut these to size and glue them in between here. So all this space in between here will be pieces of reed and it'll tie in with the ceiling in the back. Mm -hmm. 
Before we get back to the bus build, I just wanted to quickly show you a sneak peek of our mini vacation in Bradenton, Florida at these beautiful, newly renovated 1936 tiny house fish cottages. Cortez Historic Village is known for their amazing seafood. This Airbnb is located right on Sarasota Bay and they have this beautiful open air bar, perfect for enjoying happy hour. There are a total of five cottages at this Airbnb. We stayed in the Redfish. We picked up some fresh seafood from the local Cortez market and enjoyed an amazing dinner. Cheers, Cheers. to having the whole bar to ourselves. The covered dock was the perfect spot for enjoying the beautiful sunsets. To see a full tour of the inside of this Airbnb and all the great local spots to visit, go to Unique Spaces and Places in Florida. Link in the comments. Oh my gosh, so thank you. Now I think I want to add another frame to complete it, to cover up those pieces of the trim board there. Let's do it. So much better. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my God, I love it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to recreate this somewhere else. So I was thinking, since I'm out of slats right now and I have a decent amount of burlap left, I was thinking maybe instead of putting the slats along this area here, I'll cover it with the burlap. That would save me time and money and holes in the bus. Let's do a small area and see how it looks. <sighs> Tell you what, my shoulders are killing me. I'm putting these up. Whew. this in the back with the reed fencing over top of it but I don't mind the white showing through let's cut a sample so my cab or my shelves are gonna go from here to probably about here can't even see what I'm doing did you say something shelf that's going to be here is going to come up to about here. What do you think? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. spray adhesive up there. The thing is, if I put it up there with spray adhesive and I don't like it, I'm going to have all that sticky ass glue up there. 
I got to be committed. If I'm going to do it, I got to be committed. Let's do it. Okay, so I like it. It looks good. I gotta finish putting this board up here and then it'll line up perfectly with this one and it'll overlap a little bit of that, which is no big deal. And then the shelf will be right here over that and all this wire is going to sit in the shelf. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So I also wanted to show you these uh, screens that I put up on the little slider windows here with, I just cut it to this shape here and then I put Velcro on either side. So then I could take it off if I want to or Velcro it back up. And then I can also still slide the window open and close. So now these damn wasps will stop coming in.